I'm Brittany Cravel. I'm a fifth generation farmer between Hydro and Hinton, Oklahoma. My great grandfather started back, he traded a wagon loaded with oats and a team of, of mules for the first quarter of land and then that land is still in our family. We've been farming for five generations. There's something really cool about putting something in the ground and going home at night and getting on your knees and praying that it comes up and then it grows and it gets way bigger than you could ever imagine. And I get to see that every day. You know, a lot of people say miracles don't still exist, but there's fields full of them all around me. And so there's little victories and that ends up being a really cool way of life to get to see something so small go in the ground and come up and be food and provide nourishment for kids all over our state, all over our country. We've had five generations of trial and error and we go through and we say, what's the best we can do for this crop? And then we take what the best thing is we can do for that crop and then the next year we go, okay, here's where we start this year, but what can we do to make it that much better again? And so we've got a hundred years already behind me, over a hundred years of trial and error and figuring out what is the absolute best way to use the least amount of resources to produce the most amount of crop. So I have four generations in front of me and then I'll be five. And so once I come home and take over, obviously I can't wait for generations six and seven and eight and even beyond, generations I won't see, to hopefully fall in love with the same land that I did. And what we decide is gonna influence my ability to plant and raise and grow crops and my kids. With outside, outside forces not knowing what goes on and them imposing regulations because they think it sounds good or they think that's what needs to happen and they think that's what farmers would want, that ultimately hurts me. That hurts my ability to do what's best for my farm. And so in the long run, 20 years from now, I have no idea what regulations will be in place. But with State Question 777 in place, I know that the regulations that are in place are gonna be to the best interest of Oklahoma. Not something crazy by outside sources, they're gonna be what's best for Oklahoma. That may not be what's best for me as a farmer, but if it's best for, what's, for people in Oklahoma, then that's a chance I'm willing to take. I'm willing to make it about what's best for Oklahoma but I'm not willing to make it about what's best for every single person outside of Oklahoma and what they want to do with my land.